this is our Husqvarna 316 TXS that we're going to convert from petrol to LPG. <laughs> right, so why are we going to be converting this from petrol to LPG? Um, we use this machine for about two and a half, three hours a day, so it uses a lot of petrol. The cost of petrol has been sp spiralling up, so it's going to save us quite a bit over, over the long term. It's also LPG is a much cleaner product. Um, it burns cleaner. It doesn't produce so many emissions, so it's going to be a greener. So it's a win-win all the way around. So how are we going to do this conversion? I've got a number of parts that we ordered from Century Fuel Products in the USA. Uh, got a carburetor, so block-type carburetor. There. Okay. Uh, we've got a regulator, the safety valve. Yeah. Got a series of hoses and a 2.7 kilo LPG cylinder. So first off, I'm going to strip the machine down and get down to get access to all the components. problem we've come across here is the stud won't allow the carb to come off. So what we've done, we've dub double nutted the stud and we're going to take it out from the, s the block itself. So we've got our carb all linked up now. Got the gas delivery pipe from the regulator to, uh, clipped on with a P clip there. And we're going to mount the regulator just inside there, something like so. So we're going to mount a bracket and uh, try and get that fixed in. It needs a 12 volt source, so we've luckily we've got one just directly in front of it there. So we'll pop that on now.
that's a regulator fitted, the carbs fitted, everything at that end is done. We're now going to look at the gas tank. Now I'm going to set it up with a temporary tank just to uh, make sure it's all working fine and then I'll fit our proper tank. So we have to modify one of the fittings because we're going from American systems to European systems. So we need a 21.8 LH fitting to go onto the gas cylinder. So I need to make a pigtail out of this. So I'm just going to cut that and extract the pigtail out of there. That's a 21.8 LH uh, pigtail now. Okay, so just a quick recap of what we've done. It's been a couple of days since we started this. We've had other things to do. But we fitted a replacement carburetor down here. Fitted a regulator, safety valve. Um, we've got it running. We had a few issues with it. it was, we had to put in a reducer. Uh, funnily enough, it was actually getting too much gas, so we had to make a reducer plate to go in the pipe to reduce the actual gas flow through a, a 4 mil hole. Okay. And it's starting up. Okay, so it starts and runs fine. Um, we actually managed to take the uh, vacuum for the safety switch here of the original fuel pump vacuum. Uh, so when the vacuum pulls, it releases a switch, which opens a safety valve that uh, then allows the gas through. So if the engine stalls or whatever, it will just stop the gas supply, so you're not gonna have this random gas supply. So currently we have it on this cylinder temporarily. Obviously we can't travel about with this. So we're now going to Try and get this little 2.7 kilo cylinder in here. We've put this back. In. Okay. So we've mounted this uh, 2.7 kilo propane cylinder here. Um, we actually had to raise it higher than I was wanting originally. I was going to try and get the top just to the, uh, the original fuel filler point. It just wasn't going to go there, it was, too, it was too tight, so we had to actually cut this oversized hole to actually lift that up through. So we're going to take that down to fill the cylinder now, and then we'll get a test. One thing I'm going to point out here is that this is a proper refillable cylinder. It's not like a, a caller or an exchange uh, cylinder. Uh, this one is actually a refillable one designed for filling. It's got 80% uh, overfill protection so you can't overfill it which is, could be quite dangerous. Put it up there and do a quick check with leak detector spray. Make sure it's all uh, all sealed up. So I'm looking for any bubbles or anything. Yeah, it all looks good. So we 
we've been using this for a little while now on the LPG conversion. Our little 2.7 kilo cylinder is lasting about two hours a time. It's absolutely fine for us because we've got a 1200 litre built bulk tank to fill from. We did have one issue with the machine now blowing fuses. It seemed to be revving a little bit higher than it did on petrol. I think it's just the adjustment in the linkages. Was, we adjusted it to bring the RPM down and it was no longer overcharging and blowing the fuses, so we're fine with that. We were left over with a redundant choke lever, so we thought we'll connect that to uh, something special. <laughs> 